Well, I've been here for 54 years, all my life, man. My name is uh, Joseph Welch. I'm a Barona member of this tribe, uh, the Band of Mission Indians. Uh, I've grown up here all my life, and what does it mean to me is that it means freedom. There were some fun times, man, and, and some bad times. But there was a lot of laughter, man. You know that, Steve? There's always laughter. Always laughter. Steve Solis from the Barona Band of Mission Indians down here in beautiful San Diego County. I wasn't raised here. I came here uh, later in my life. Uh, raised my family up in Los Angeles County. I've always come down here since a child. My grandmother, great grandmother, Joe's family all started the Barona tribe. We were relocated from El Capitan down here to the Barona Rancheria, which started Barona. The land is to use and always has been for our people. I mean, if you want if you wanted 10 acres, uh, they could give you the 10 acres because but you have to tell them what you want it for, you know? And if, if it's presentable, they'll give it to you. You don't have to purchase land out here like everybody else does. And that's basically what the freedom, when we talk about freedom in the spirit, I mean, you, you can, you, your spirit can thrive off the land you can get. Our parents were making 50 bucks a week. My dad was making 50 bucks a week. Like I told you, we were eating beans and rice. Every once in a while, we'd have some meat because either we'd go out and hunt it or bring it back or my dad got a bonus or something and brought back meat for us. But mostly it was uh, stuff that my, my mom would conjure up and feed us, you know. There's a lot of spirit out here. There's certain areas that are spiritual burial grounds, things that we don't touch or respect. You know? That's what I love. It's, you find a lot more respect out here in a lot of different ways. Even some people, they do it so naturally they don't even realize that they're showing respect in a lot of ways. It just becomes natural. That's the way they raise the kids. We go back to spirit. You know, one thing about Barona is that it's a place where I can just walk out my back door, look up in the sky and see an eagle flying freely. And they only come to good people. And fly freely, you know. They come to, they, eagles don't fly around anybody. You know? No, they don't. They come to who has spirit. Before we were, our people were afraid to speak or talk or say anything because uh, when the missionaries were here and stuff, they, they would always say, you know, if we spoke our language, oh, they're up to something, or they're doing something. They'd kill them. And they'd, they'd kill them. them. They'd beat them. So that casino has done a better, good, done more for us than we really could say, because we would never be that friendly to them, you know? But now, because of that business, and, and that, if you can see over there, that's the, over there is that paintball shot. That's the, a motorcycle track that's been here for a long time. That was established back in the 70s. Uh, this motorcycle. In fact, uh, Disney themselves did a movie there at one time. I mean, you come here, right here. This is a this is a racetrack right here, which Joe's dad put together, Uncle Boxy. And then you come here and you see families just come out here and have nothing but fun. I mean, anybody's outsiders, them. people that are not people from, from here. all over. They come. I see people coming from other states come out here just because they feel happy and safe. I've, I've talked to people. They come from Arizona, Nevada, Oregon, Washington. I've met people as far as Oklahoma. Come. They're bringing their car out here just for the weekend. We're in a different life and world now. You know, they're not like us anymore. When, when I had to call my parents for something, I had to go find a phone at a phone booth. These kids can go right over and talk to their parents now. There's a big difference here, big change, you know. So, but as for the respect, that's where we come in as coaches to teach those kids to respect us as elders that we still have knowledge to show them that they don't know everything because everything on the computer they're getting they think oh I know that I know this I know that but the real true fact is that they don't know who they are that was taken that's been taken away from them and that's when we come in as elders to kind of like say and I'm an, I'm an I say elders because I am an elder I'm going to be 55 this year so I'll be an elder now and now we have control to say things like, you know, where you came from, uh, where you, who was your uncles, who was your aunts, who was that person. You know, we have that memory and, and history inside of us. People meet Indians right away; they're intimidated, you know, because they they think that we're mean and we're we're, we're going to vicious and we're going to attack them, you know. And we're not. We're actually the best people to be around. You know, how natives like you, right? Is when they make fun of you. They make fun of you a lot, they really like you a lot. But a lot of people take that as, uh, they don't like me, they hate me, and that's not true. It's because they like you, or they wouldn't take the time of day to tease your ass. Now, the only time we never accept you is when you're, 
you're kind of a white guy coming in and being a smart ass to us and we don't really Hey, watch it. 